Good morning, K Nation. Welcome to the morning announcements for Friday, March 11th, produced by the I News. I'm Alexis Goodwin. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and pause for a moment of silence. Now it's Mr. Sprinkle with our students of the week in Hurricane Hero. Good morning, Hurricanes. Welcome to another great day of education at the best high school in Mobile County Public School System. Happy Friday, everyone. Just want to give a, a quick, well, not a reminder, but some information about some changes that we're about to make in our take-in process. So please listen carefully. Beginning of the fourth quarter, we're going back to the way that we used to take in here at Bryant before the pandemic hit. If you're a freshman or sophomore, this is gonna to be totally new to you. If you're a junior or senior, then you have done this before. So for those students who get off the bus, you will get straight off the bus, go straight down to G Hall. There will be no going in the main building down D Hall. You will be required to go to the cafeteria or to the gym or to the break area. Those are the three places that you will sit down, not stand up and walk, back and forth and you will stay there until 710 when the bell rings at 710 then you will get up and move to your first block class we are having a major issue with students who are getting off the bus especially and walking around our campus for 30 minutes they get here at 650 and they're even being late to class after 720 so 30 minutes you're unaccounted for so we've got to make some changes with that going back to the way we used to do things. If you're a car rider, you will not be asked to get out of your vehicle until 710. If you want to get out and eat breakfast, you're more than welcome to do so, but you have to come to the cafeteria. If you don't want to eat breakfast, we're asking you to stay in your vehicle till 710. Once the bell rings, that gives you 10 minutes to move up to the classroom. So I'm going to repeat that. You're going to have three areas where you can be, the cafeteria, the outside picnic area, or the gymnasium. So we will not, you will not be allowed to go, to go around the back of the building. You will not be allowed to go in the building whatsoever. Now, if you have prearranged to take a makeup test or you have some type of club, we're asking our teachers to give you a pass the day before so you will be allowed to go to that classroom. All right, Friday, our students of the week. Time to recognize our students who do actually come to school here and make good decisions, uh, show great character and great academic progress. Our ninth grade student of the week is Connor English. Connor English. Tenth grade student of the week, Christy Merritt. Christy Merritt. Eleventh grade student of the week is Acadia Tucker. That's Acadia Tucker. And our senior student of the week is Terry Stephen Roberts. That's Terry Stephen Roberts. Congratulations to the students of the week, and I commend you for your efforts here at Alma Bryant. For our Hurricane Hero of the Week is Miss. Hatchet, our yearbook sponsor, uh, she goes above and beyond to put out a quality yearbook every year. We have a great product this year she's kind of gave me a glimpse of. I just want to commend her. It is a huge uh, effort to put together a 250-page book every year. She's got a great team of students that help her, but we, uh, we're sure appreciative of Miss Hatchet and all she does for our school. That's all the announcements we have here this morning. Let's have a great day here at Alma Bryant where excellence is the expectation. Thank you, Mr. Sprinkle, and good morning, Hurricane. So we now have your attention for morning announcements. Ladies, if you are having issues getting a prom dress, the Royal Closet is here to help you. Saturday, the Royal Closet is open to help you with your prom dress needs. School ID or report cards must be presented to participate. If you are interested in running for prom king or queen, you must sign up in G547. There's a $10 fee to sign up. Campaigning will begin March 14th through the 17th. Voting will take place online March 18th. Senior Jalen Swink represented Alma Bryant High School at the Mobile Optimist Club Oratorical yesterday against several other local schools, both county and private. Bryant has consistently placed second or third in the competition as we have such talented students. This year, however, Jalen earned a sweeping victory and a first place medal for her speech, staying optimistic in challenging times. Jalen will move forward next month to compete at the regional level. Congratulations, Jalen, on your success. Bryant High School is proud of you. Flag trials are scheduled for April 29th in the gym. Those that are interested need to visit the school's website or go to the front office for a tryout form. Also, there will be a clinic for those that are interested starting April 25th and ending April 28th. 
Now to breathe with our sports. Thank you, Alexis. The Hurricanes JV baseball team defeated Foley yesterday 13-2. Jackson White led the Hurricanes with four hits, and Trevor Wilkinson picked up the win on the mound. Congratulations to the Alma Bryan Lady Canes varsity soccer team for their 2-1 win over Baker last night. Junior Army Matthews hit a deep shot over the keeper's head to tie the game, and senior striker Gabby Gonzalez hit the game-winning goal off an assist from Emily Sinclair. The Lady Canes will be traveling to Gulf Shores to play in the Island Cup Classic Tournament this weekend. The Alma Bryan varsity baseball team defeated Foley yesterday 13-2. Dylan Bradley and Lane Goff had three hits on the night. Lane had three RBIs. Tanner Ewing got the win on the mound with eight strikeouts. The Hurricanes play a doubleheader tomorrow at Cottage Hill. Now back to Alexis with more news. Thank you, Bree. Today's lunch is pizza, carrot, salad, fruit juice, and milk. Bryant Science Club next meeting will be on Wednesday, March 23rd. We'll be looking at some marine invertebrates and dissecting a squid. Please see Ms. Odom in room A4 to sign up. You must have a lab safety contract on file. Juniors and seniors can apply for summer internships now through today on the Alma Bryant website. There are openings at places like Dolphin Island Sea Lab, Marine Resources, MCPSS Central Office, the Battle House Hotel, the USS Battleship, and many more. See Ms. Snodgrass if you need help with your resume or application process. The countdown for the ACT is happening now. Here's Ms. Davis with some information for you. Hi juniors, it's ACT March Madness here at Alma Bryan High School. What that means is we're preparing for our March 29th assessment of the ACT. And that assessment is free to you provided by the Mobile County Public School System. We ask that you be here on time and eat a well-balanced breakfast on the day of the test. Also, you can earn a credential towards your graduation by benchmarking in any of the areas or subtests on the ACT. The English benchmark is an 18, reading and math has a benchmark of 22, and the science has a benchmark of 23. Keynes, you got this. I believe in you and I know you're going to show Mobile County Public School System that we are the best high school in Mobile County. Have a great day. Prom tickets are now $60. You can purchase these in G5 or G7. All outside dates must have a form filled out and approved by administration. Also, the dress code is out for everyone to see. The dress code will be heavily enforced. Please make sure that you're following it. This concludes our morning announcements for Friday, March 11th. We thank you for tuning into the iNews and we'll see you again next week for more morning announcements. And remember, it's a great day to be a hurricane. <laughs>